Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day and we're all doing well. So if you've seen my videos talking about the Brutal Swarm Battle Pass and more specifically the Tier 100 skin, then it's no surprise to you that I was very disappointed with what we got. Leading up to the launch of Brutal Swarm, we had a brand new story trailer showing the brand new Operator Grimm having a face-off with Nook, in which he actually slices a portion of her mask away, revealing the bottom of her face. Then when it came to the Battle Pass for this season, we got a skin for Nook in the Battle Pass based off of this trailer, but instead of having a part of her face showing, we actually got a skin which looked very very similar to just a lot of Nook's default skins, and in my opinion, and clearly an opinion of a lot of the community, it was quite a disappointing skin and they could have done a lot better with it. However, the Siege community being full of very talented people actually managed to fix this skin and show us what it could have looked like and it's so much better. And this was actually made by Sketchy Hedgy over on Twitter, go give him a follow and everything, it will be linked in the description. Go show him some support and let's get that follower count up. And what they've actually done is made a trailer accurate version of this Nook skin and how she would have looked like if Ubisoft actually made this skin Skin how it looked in the trailer and this looks absolutely incredible now of course the major thing here being is that they have actually sliced open her mask like it is in the trailer and this looks so much better for a tier 100 skin looking at this compared to the skin we got in game is night and day the one we got in game although being a new sculpt under the veil you can actually see part of her face it still looks like a common default skin since the veil itself does look pretty basic and to 99% of players it just looks like a default headgear for nook but this headgear would have been so much more better it still would have kept nook's identity hidden Although showing part of her face, and if you've actually seen my video the other day, we already know what Nook's face looks like from the concept art when she first launched. It's not a massive secret. And this just looks so much more better than what we got, and it's really disappointing that Ubisoft kind of dropped the ball on this skin, because literally putting these side by side, one of them actually looks like a tier 100 legendary headgear, and the other one looks like a default skin in my opinion. So yeah, this is absolutely incredible, and it really goes to show how much of a missed opportunity they had with this skin. And I've seen a lot of people on Reddit saying that, oh, well the reason they might have done this is because because it wouldn't have made sense and the physics mechanics would have been too hard to have only part of her face showing but there's literally skins in this game which have mechanics very similar to that. Malusi's Doctor's Curse headgear has her face underneath a veil and the mechanics seem to work perfectly fine there so I don't really know why people are trying to make up excuses for Ubisoft it's clear that they just didn't want to make this headgear and I think that was just a massive missed opportunity because seeing what we could have got is really amazing. So yeah guys be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below definitely go check out Sketchy Hedgy over on Twitter let's get his follower count up because this is some incredible work and it looks absolutely sick. Anyway guys, have an incredible rest of your day. I love you all. Stay safe. Peace.